What's going on guys, it's Investing Hustler here and today I have a pretty interesting video for you. I'm going to talk about a few different topics, one of them being the three day trades that I've done today with Aurora Cannabis. I'm also going to touch up on some news and that news is about Aurora Cannabis, about Apria, Namaste and last but not least I have an IGC update for you guys. And So stick around and I hope you enjoy this video. Well before we get started I would like to ask you guys to please give me a like. It really helps my channel and it will push me to make more videos so let's try to get this video to 100 likes. What's going on guys it's Investing Hustler here and today I'm going to talk about 3 day trades that I've done with Aurora Cannabis. So right here you're going to see all my trade orders. You're going to see that I have a lot of sell orders and a lot of buy orders. So this, this time might not be exact so today at about 10.06 a.m. I've sold about 1300 aurora cannabis shares at the price of eight dollars and eight cents so that was my first trade and then just like expected at around 1008 literally two minutes later aurora dropped down to 760 and i put a limit order for 760 and this was a buy order so the first one was a sell order and this was a buy order i put it for 760 for 500 shares and before you know it the order went through and uh, pretty much right after, I put another buy order for 784 because I saw it was climbing. So I figured I could get more shares before I sold them off. That was a, my second buy, buy order, um, literally uh, 20, 32 minutes later. And it was filled. As you could see, it was filled right here. And and then if I put a limit order, a sell order. My next order was a sell order for $8.10. And of course, I sold 900 shares. And two minutes later, that was filled as well as you can see right here that was filled and then once again I, I guess I sold off all my shares so I'm like you know what it might go back down again so I put another buy order so this one was a buy order for seven dollars and sixty nine cents and of course that order was filled so yes that order was filled about 600 shares I did put a sell order because I noticed that the there was different patterns in the chart so I put it for 795 but then um I noticed I could put it a little a little more so I got a little greedy got three cents greedy you know that but those three cents actually made me I think uh, every penny was making me around 40 bucks so those three cents made me hundred twenty dollars more I canceled my limit order here I canceled this one and I, I changed it to 798 and I put that limit order at 1129 and I sold a thousand shares at that price as you can see right here so I've done three successful sell orders this one was a sell this one was a sell and this one was a sell and I've sold at 798 I've sold at 810 and 808 and then um, I've done three buy orders and of course all the buy orders this hold on this was uh, a buy order right here this was a buy order right here and this was a buy order right here so those have all been filled if it says filled it means they've all that means that they were completed so I've done three successful buy orders three successful sell orders and right now it looks like uh, it's not going to be going back down I did make one more buy order at seven dollars and fifty cents as you could see right here at seven dollars and fifty cents and currently it's open so it has not been filled so it doesn't look like I'll be getting this order in unless there's like a slight little crash at the end of the day but yeah those are my three successful swing trades I've made at least two hundred dollars per trade so I'm gonna say I've I've made minimum six hundred dollars pretty sure I, I've made more I, my bank will send me all the information in approximately five business days and I'll know exactly how much money I made but I know I've made at least six hundred dollars possibly more than seven hundred dollars so I'll probably title this how I made over seven hundred dollars in one day swing trading that was fun I've made three swing trades in one day hopefully I could I could get my my shares back I'm hoping to buy a thousand more shares at 750 if not that's fine um we'll see if this market recovers at, at the end of the day I'm still holding on to Aurora shares but let's move on there's some good news today and it has to do with three companies one of them being Aurora Apria so we'll move on to this article right here as you can see right here Aurora cannabis said that it was approved to make its shipment of medical cannabis to Poland the Canada based company said it believes that this was the first time a non-government business was granted approval to supply medical cannabis products 
products in Poland because the first company to supply cannabis to Poland is the validation of Aurora's ability to do business in international markets with high barriers of en to entry, said Chief Global Business Development Officer Neil Bellot. This is really good news for Aurora. This might be the reason why we're, we're seeing a green day today, but the day's not over yet, so we might see a pullback by the end of the day. Right now, my time, it's 2.15 and the market's closed at 4 o'clock, so there's still around two hours left before the markets close but I'm definitely not complaining that was some really good news and for some other really good news it was Apria announced that its common shares have been approved for listings on the New York Stock Exchange so that's really good news that's another company that I'm invested in I'm actually invested into Canopy and Aurora I'll show you guys my shares I, I could probably show you guys a print screen right now i am holding on to apria and aurora shares right now i'm holding on to small gains definitely a lot smaller than they were one month ago but i'm still holding on and apria aurora i'm currently swing trading i actually really hope aurora drops down a bit just so i could buy back all the shares that i've sold only time will tell hopefully it doesn't go up to nine dollars by monday because then i'll be kicking my ass for doing three swing trades when i could have made a lot more money just holding on but we'll see right now these markets are very volatile and they've been downtrending today's the first green day in over a week i just try to t take advantage of it thinking that it would just be green during the day and go red by the end of the day let me go back to why i decided to swing trade aurora today so first of all aurora started off very low this could have been a perfect buying opportunity right here right here could have been a perfect buying opportunity uh, I didn't pick up any shares. I was already holding on to a lot of shares. When I saw that decline, it could have went both ways. It could have either kept declining or it would have, or it did what ex exactly what it did. And Aurora went up. Aurora went up. So immediately, as soon as um, it went up, I made a sell order around here. And let's keep in mind, this is all Canadian dollars. A lot of people are getting confused saying that, oh, my prices are wrong. I'm way behind. But I'm talking about Canadian dollars here, not American dollars. So I sold, I sold, um, I sold some shares around here, and then pretty much Aurora dipped down. And as I showed you earlier, Aurora dipped down, and I picked up some more shares. Like I said, I've sold three times, and I've bought three times. Right now, I have a sell order at about 750. I doubt it's gonna go that low again. I might bring my sell order up to 765 if it starts declining if not then um it looks like i won't be buying aurora shares i'm not going to be buying aurora shares unless i'm averaging down those are rules that i always like to follow so yeah that's it for aurora on top of that there is some big news for namaste today i'll, I'll read you guys a quick article that i, I found um, for namaste namaste technologies is pleased to announce that the company wholly owned subsidiary canmart inc has signed a medical cannabis supply agreement the agreement with maple leaf greens world whereby canmart will purchase medical cannabis and maple leaf to order in its online platform subject to terms of agreement canmart will have the rights of first refusal on 100 percent of the total production of cannabis from maple leaf's facility so in one day we're receiving a lot of great news in the cannabis sector oh i do want to keep you guys updated also with igc because there was some something i found out about igc so igc is no longer listed in the new york stock exchange so before this used to be where i don't know if you can see right here to be where the ticker symbol for igc is and now it's blank you guys can't see the full screen but it's blank there's no number there's I guess you can see the beginning, but this whole section right here is blank. And IGC now has a new ticker symbol that's trading in the OTC market, and it's called IGCC. So let me show you guys the charts for IGCC. So Indian Globalization Capital is now trading at 54 cents. So, and this is in the, I think this is in the OTC market. So yesterday I did make a video about IGC and how they were getting delisted from the New York Stock Exchange. I didn't know what was going to happen with shareholders of IGC. I'm not personally a shareholder of IGC, but I have covered IGC for the past month. What will happen now is you will be able to sell your shares once it's listed on the OTC or pink. So now that it's listed on OTC, um, you are able to sell your IGC shares. Obviously, you will be selling at a great loss because IGC is now a penny stock trading at 54 cents. 
you know what? Um, if this company continues to decline, even though I've heard so many bad things about it, I did tell myself if IGC goes below a dollar, which what do you know, now IGC is below a dollar, that I would dive into IGC. This looks very tempting. So yeah, I might just buy $500 worth of IGC shares because with $500, I could probably buy around 1,000 shares of IGC. This company is super risky and honestly I would not advise anyone to invest in this in this company unless you're willing to lose that money. And to me $500 is like going to a casino and just throwing $500 on black or red. So you can either win it all or you can lose it all. So don't invest into IGC unless you're willing to risk it all. Unless you know that this is a hundred percent a gamble this company has no fundamentals behind them there has been so many red flags with this company but this company has been known to blow up so right now it, it's very risky purchasing this company especially after all the news that you've been hearing about igc after it being delisted from the new york stock exchange this company went from trading for 14 dollars about a month ago to now trading for 54 cents so that tells you a lot about this company but the fact that this company can go up two thousand percent in literally three months makes it so tempting and it's 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 a gamble it's a hundred percent a gamble do not invest money that you're afraid to lose into this company only invest if you're willing to lose it but anyways um this was supposed to be a very quick video about my swing trades i ended up talking about other topics uh, I don't know if you guys want me to update you at the end of the day, whether I did a buy order or a sell order, but I did tell you my, my strategy, my plans for the day. We'll see how Aurora plays out. For now, Aurora is the only company that I am swing trading. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that notification bell and smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.